Yeah, it's a kind of a weird thing because when we moved over to the Linux Foundation, like this is now hosted at the LF, not the university anymore, yeah. which is I'm happy about. But um, anyway, yeah, somebody shows up as that. It, it probably is the case that I led the evolution group yesterday, so I was still signed in as my Linux account user. Now, strangely, I think you can now re-sign in as you, Sean, and it'll, yeah. you'll still maintain yourself as host. So if you want us to see your avatar picture as opposed to the chaos community avatar picture thing if you care oh okay you don't uh, have to i'll figure it out matter. i'll figure it out i'll figure it out later instead of in the context of this call <laughs> totally fine <laughs> sounds good all right well welcome to well when when he's done recording welcome to the weekly or bi-weekly value working group of the chaos community um no idea if anyone on here is new or old hat to this. So I'll just say we have a code of conduct that we follow and it's you know basically the same as all LF projects, which is be kind to each other. Um, thanks for joining. We're gonna talk about valuable things. Um, we tend to just double check about agenda items that are on people's minds. There are a couple that were already added and I, I copied and pasted some stuff about metrics from a couple weeks ago. Um, anything else on people's minds that we should get into the agenda, not jump into discussing yet, but just uh, make sure we leave time for it. Um, maybe, I don't know if you have it in the agenda, Matt, but I, I'd really like to start making a push on some of the, um, like the social value metrics that we've yeah. kind of been talking about and um, really thinking about like, just thinking about them, like who the audience is, how we can make connections with folks who have an interest in those. Um, so Great. that's mine. Yep. Perfect. Anything else? Good to go. All right. Great. Um, well, I'm not sure who added it, but I'll, I'll just kind of see who's down to lead the conversation. Evolution note, code reviews, name change to change requests. Um, anyone want to speak to that? So I can, the, the evolution working group has made a change to one of their metrics or actually like three of their metrics. And these were metrics that were called reviews, which was basically the generic term for pull request in the GitHub universe or merge request in the GitLab universe. And so that the term reviews is what was settled on uh, maybe a year ago. And so recently they've decided to change reviews to change requests because reviews was a little bit confusing. And so the point here for value is that we need to just go through the existing value metrics and any value metric that makes a reference to reviews needs to be changed so that the appropriate reference is made to change requests. Does that or, make sense? or pull requests for that matter. If you, pull if you mention pull requests, the, the, the chaos term is change request. So makes sense. Great. And is there a, a, a good place to link to people, link people to terminology related to that? Like I'm, I'm thinking in existing metrics, if people see change requests and they're not familiar with the term, want to make sure it kind of pops them yeah. over to defining well, it. Probably the website, just the, yeah. the change just request uh, website page. Okay, good call. Sounds good. So Matt, you um, can go ahead and give me that action item. I've been kind of going through working groups just to make sure that's been updated. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just opening an issue for it in the repo for longer term thinking and I'll, I'll find that. So I'll, I'll put an action item in for myself in the minutes. Perfect. Thanks. To the chaos community. All right. Excuse the terrible grammar on that issue, but at least I got it out there. Awesome. That's, that's good. Congratulations on a less vendor specific term um, that, that's hard to change because it's just so commonly used. Um, great, ne the next agenda item is SCMS. So the social currency metric system, 
uh, atomic metric development. Who uh, added this one? Uh, that would be me uh, to kind of get the ball moving more formally rather than informally. Um, we do have a lot of people, so just a quick review. Um, the social currency metric system was initially uh, implemented uh, as a part of Google Summer of Code. And um, with that implementation, it was kind of decided that it didn't really work so much as a metric as it did as a program. And now that is currently up for debate. Uh, and from what I understand, we're also looking for a new name for it that uh, within chaos specifically because uh, social constructed um, is using that term more specifically. Um, honestly, we don't really care, um, but chaos probably wants to. So this is basically just formally getting the ball rolling on that. Essentially the plan, as I understand it, and Sean might be able to elaborate a little bit more because he was kind of uh, spearheading the start of this, is to define the uh, metrics that we use in the SCMS as their own metrics themselves. So actually creating a metric for transparency, a metric for consistency, a metric for um, trust. Uh, that's kind of a bit of a tall order. Um, so I think that taking this step-by-step step would be a best idea. Um, just getting those metrics set up and then seeing what we have at that point and uh, where the implementation is gonna go from that point forward. So I have a question, Venya. So, um, so like, I totally yeah. agree, like just doing step-by-step. Step. Um, so on something like transparency, is it, is it possible that an atomic metric would end up in a different working group than value? Or do you think they all are kind of constituted in the value, you know, value working group? I would say that largely depends upon your um, set up, but I would keep them together until we actually, like while they're up in the air, just leave them in the container they're in. And then when they come to ground, after we've kind of defined all of those, that's when we can make that decision. Uh, but I think it would really, really complicate things uh, if we didn't have it returned to ground before moving it into another container. Totally fair. Yeah. Thanks. You know, I, uh, I know I, I've mentioned issues around uh, where metrics live in the past. Uh, and I, I kind of think that the the, the metric should generally live where it's created. However, the uh, the working group itself doesn't really own the metric. Everyone everyone owns it. And so, if they're being if they're being worked on here, they should live here. Uh, however, I don't I don't think we should be afraid to pull metrics in from other working groups. I agree. That sounds great. I mean. Uh, this is something that it's it's a long time coming, and I think we are in in this group are more than happy to support that. Um, I guess maybe is yeah. Does anyone feel uh, confident leading that discussion, um, or maybe taking us through like what what the action items are needed to work through? Ooh, do I see Jurg volunteering, or is somebody volunteering him? I'm volunteering to make the change of the name change. Okay. Just right. execute then, that. Yeah. Then I'll make another one, which is like, I feel like this is such a specialized topic. We want to give it um, recurring space in this meeting time to walk through it and then take action items between meetings of like actually drafting out the specifics. Yeah, um, and I guess I'm, I'm happy to answer questions on the nature um, and the process, um, but obviously I do come from a biased position. Um, so I'm more than happy to kind of lead through that process, um, but I don't necessarily want to just like propose the agenda. So I'll make a, a, a proposition. So maybe um, from a, Again, to Venia's point, like just this kind of starting to just work incrementally on this, just in an effort to move it forward and kind of one of those things like, you know, when you kind of like the tortoise and the hare, right? When you just do things slowly before you know it, it's all, it's all done. Um, 
And so maybe from the atomic metrics perspective, then you would, could you and I maybe work on moving even just one for at this point, you know what I mean? Like one of the 11 and before you know it, they'll all be done kind of thing. Yeah. So I think that for the time being, we should just start with the big five um, because okay. chances are we're going to have to break them up individually. Like we've already identified 11, um, mm -hmm. but to kind of keep scope going through, we should just focus on one at a time. And then yeah. if it needs to break into a building block, the people who are already working on that metric will take it. Sure. Um, Cause I mean, I, as an anthropologist, um, the reason why the metrics are developed the way that they are into those five bases um, is because it is really, really difficult to holistically define these from a top-down numbers perspective. Um, so we're going to have to work from the bottom up. And as a result, that means our task is a little bit larger than it should be. So not biting off more than we can chew, we should just go one metric at a time. What are, the, what are the big five? Um, transparency, utility, consistency, merit, and trust. And where, where are those and the other six listed out? I, I might've missed that. Mm, uh, I think there's a support ticket where uh, either Sean or Kevin, I don't, I don't remember which one of you. Um, Sean, Sean. I think it was me. And pulled out more. That, okay, cool, cool. So Venya, of those, of those five, kind of based on your experience, is there one that might be the e easiest to approach first, or uh, who transparency knows? Transparency and utility. Um, starting with transparency and utility would probably be best. Utility will probably be easier from a numbers perspective, because um, it's a little bit easier to define: is this useful um, using natural language processing than it is to define. Um, what does this person's feeling of my company look like based off of what they're saying? Um, so I'd say utility is probably the easiest, then merit, uh, and then after merit is probably transparency. Uh, consistency, uh, I think that's gonna be harder um, from a qualitative perspective, but we might be able to fill it in using quantitative data. Uh, and then trust is gonna be the hardest one, obviously, because we've been trying to define trust for 50 years, so. Yes, so have, yes, we being <laughs> all academics, I mean, I've, trust has been around for a long time. So it sounds like utility is maybe given, given the listening to you, maybe the first one to take a, utility. do you run it? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so I will, um, in this meeting, I'll go ahead and build the template for utility and I can get it into the minutes and then maybe you and I can kind of go back and forth on it a little bit, if that's okay with you. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, okay. kind of playing to the next point as well uh, regarding asynchronous work structures. Um, I am likely going to have a lot of meetings during times for the value working group in the general. Um, so we would want to make sure that we put together an infrastructure for people to contribute um, asynchronously as well, because this is going to be very qualitative in nature. Um, so it may not work a lot with um, people getting in, but maybe having smaller meeting groups or a chat that's running alongside it. Uh, I don't know what that might look like, what would work best for all of you, but um, yeah. Can we, uh, can we add all five of those to the... Uh the spreadsheet and maybe and maybe just uh populate the google docs for all five that way that way they can they can all move forward if uh if we have volunteers i think that's a great idea would would anyone mind taking a look at i think it's the second link i added in here um to an issue comment on 75 uh, is this the most relevant uh, definitions so far of, I see transparency, utility, consistency, merit, trust. Are the, is that the, the list? Sort of looks like it. Yeah. Uh, yes, but I would also recommend talking to Elizabeth as well. 
Mm -hmm. uh, because she does have chaos specific defined definitions based off of the actual implementation of the SCMS. Uh, these are the templated definitions that we use at Socially Constructed, but we, we are under no illusions that they will change based on the community that is observed. Great, great. Okay, so Matt, per usual, and also thank you. It sounds like you said you're gonna uh, kind of take point to at least get us moving on the first one. Um, I'm just trying to think through what. Yeah, issues I'll, actually, might... I'll actually template all five of those to Kevin's oh, okay. point. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, we can work on utility to start. And I'm going to kind of do that right now. So, great. <laughs> yeah. Metric spreadsheet. Fantastic. This will be great. And I know it's been said before, but it should be said off often. Thank you, Venia, for bringing up a bunch of brilliant ideas that will add context to the value statements. And Sean, for doing such a thorough review of it. I think it's added a, a ton of value to the discussion. So thank you for both all, of those. All, all about actually getting it done, which requires detail. So happy to help. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I, I concur with that. Great. All right, so to the back half of our time together is continuing the discussion on what metrics we have had in progress. Um, the last uh, kind of working session we had, we were exploring project popularity. Um, and there are some references to, oh, okay. And there are references to two existing metrics that we wanna link popularity Inter, uh, intertwine them. Okay, that's that's nothing we need to worry about at the moment. But with project popularity, um, I think we got to, there were, yeah, there is two distinct approaches to popularity, one about development and usage and the other about reputation. I can't speak to, to development and usage, but I did work on a draft of reputation and it looks like the visuals we asked about were added in. So uh, maybe just ask for a set of eyes if you click it through to that link on, yep, what's that, Matt? I'm trying to do two things. So I was listening to you talking about the reputation one too. So I was taking a look at the that metric, the reputation, project popularity. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And um, so right now, they seemed a little bit off for me just in terms of mm -hmm. like reputation and then the images that were used didn't really seem to be about reputation. Oh, I thought we, okay, fair. Let's, let's take a look. So for others, uh, if you, if you want to follow along, you can click on the link to project popularity and then scroll to the, the second definition, which is on page six. So, and in there, scrolling down to visualizations, we see the first one is from Kubernetes project. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm confident I added that one uh, with the intention of stargazers being the, the visualization. Since we talk about like that, whether vanity or not vanity, stargazers are, uh, are a pass through to represent popularity of a project. So that one makes sense to me. Is there is there something I could add underneath to make it clearer? Um, let me take a look. Yeah, I guess I haven't looked at too many raw metrics in a while. Um, okay. I didn't know if we like if we editorialize the images for context. Yeah, it's super helpful. Um, yeah, maybe I was, I was trying to, it was probably actually the second one. So I was making sure that, um, yeah. what 
these images are. So like the reviews and PRs and then the stargazers is similar to what Sean had added with respect to a reference of Blinko at the top. Mm -hmm. Just, reference of Blinko. I'm forgetting to things I don't remember typing. What is Blinko? So, <laughs> Kelly Blink Kelly. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Yeah. No. Okay. So, so right. basically there's a metric called project popularity and in parentheses is repu yeah. the word reputation. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite sure how, if that reference, how that reference handles reputation. It's and if popular users, not popular uh, repos. I may have mm -hmm. mistyped. So top, basically a very popular user as identified through the number of uh, followers they have, or, or I think watchers as well. Um, when they move projects, people move with them. Yeah, kind of first movers. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Not shocking if you think of it intuitively, but we showed it empirically with science. <laughs> <laughs> so then... Fantastic flex. <laughs> Right, it's like we use science. I don't know if you heard of it. Yeah, I don't know if you heard of it. It's not in trend right now, but it's no, it's really it'll, not. It'll, it'll come back. <laughs> uh, very cool. Wait, so did that give you the answer you needed, Matt? Yeah, and it, does that does that align with the visual that you had had to with stargazers? So stargazers is kind of like the yeah the project specific metric. It would be. Yeah. It would be cool if I, I haven't read your paper yet, Sean. If is there a visual in there that might show what that looks like to see influential bubbles and go towards? Uh, I don't know. Let me look. Okay. Okay. Cool. But uh, be, are uh, we? Are we certainly? Certainly, we focused on uh, projects that were widely, uh, you know, contributed to. Mm -hmm. So, um, hang on. I can get this for you in a second. No problem. What were you saying, Kevin? Uh, I'm sorry. Were we were we talking about popular users or popular projects? Did we? In, in that case, change? it was the latter. Well, in in that case, it was the latter. That like reputation. One of the ways in which you can potentially gain an insight into reputation of a project would be to look at um, how popular are the people participating in the project. At least that was the origin of the conversation that Sean was referring to. Yeah, and when they leave. Uh, people leave with them. Okay, so is would that be a would be that be a, a separate metric that this metric would link to or use as a filter, or is it just a or is it just part of this metric? Great question, um, Sean. What were, or do you have a proposal there? I have to be the met. So if it's a metric related to I'd have to read the metric again more carefully. Yeah, no problem. So yeah. Yep. Am I correct in saying that there are two possible ways that we could calculate it and we're having trouble deciding between one or the other? Or are we doing both or are we combining them? Great question. Um, at the moment, so when we got to the point where it bifurcated into two, uh, kind of Dwayne O'Brien over uh, at Indeed was interested in exploring a separate um, metric about the development cycle that didn't didn't quite feel um, like it was aligned with what I was intending to do with more of a reputation based approach. Um, there's still the possibility that they could merge or be two different ones, but um, at least for the the sake of simplicity right now like i was focusing solely on the reputation one as opposed to trying to mush them together or worry about it so gotcha yeah there we go so um i'll just share this real quickly it's very sciencey so i'll explain it briefly um find my preview so there's a lot of stuff in here, but essentially, um, yada, yada, the, <laughs> there's a very high predictive power of if a project is start a lot, 
and a popular user moves to a different project, like a user who is um, followed a lot, they take people with them. Like the predictive power is like close to 0.7 in most cases. And the more connected they are to other users, uh, it goes up substantially. And compared to just simple linear comparisons, I mean, the, the less than 0 0.001 is like super, super high. Um, so if you've got a very active project, say Kubernetes, and you've got users who are widely followed on Kubernetes, if those users start to go to a different project, people will follow them. That's the long and the short of it. Mm. Did you prove influencer marketing? <laughs> I mean, I think I think so that I, I, I think you could use those words uh, yeah. with regards to the influence of the project and the influence of the individuals on the project. And I think that's one of the things that's novel about open source that, that those things tend to go together. That reputation reputation of an individual tends to rise as they contribute meaningfully to a high reputation project. So they, they tend to grow together. You should apply situation. the concept to Ninja. To what? To Ninja. I think that'd be really funny. Like the fighting style? Left Twitch in favor of Facebook streaming. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to see how closely the model um, holds up. Yeah, there's a whole there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. This is like from five years ago. So I would have to like read it again to remember all the things we say, but I gave you the I gave you a gist that I think speaks to what we're talking about. Great. So if the relationship is that close, uh, would it be would it be helpful if for this metric we just removed project from the title and we just call this popularity and then when we when we get into uh, the trick we could talk about the relationship between the popularity of contributors and the popularity of the project and we could kind of kind of flesh it out that way rather than two separate metrics i don't believe we proved this because we didn't do temporal analysis but i believe it my my hypothesis would be that it flows in both directions that users who want to start contributing to projects that are already popular and projects that are already popular are likely significant in some way. And users with an interest in that technology are gonna to gravitate towards that project if they're you know, more prominent than towards another project that's less prominent, right? It's, uh, it's nuclear fusion, it just keeps getting stronger. You know, so the, the strongest people go to the strongest projects that interest them the most. And the people who wanna become strong go to projects that are widely followed so they get noticed the most. Like, I don't think it's a one direction flow, but I haven't proved that. It's sure. just a hypothesis. To, to Kevin's point, I, I like what you're saying, Kevin. Yeah, um, I don't know if po project in the title is necessity. It, it might be the bias of what somebody is looking for here, but uh, to show that nuance that users and project popularity are bi-directional relationships. Um, if, it's, if it makes more sense to generalize it at the title and clarify it in the body, I'm, I'd love your, um, you know, edit, edit on top. It's a bi-directional relationship. I would be, I can't prove it, but I'm, yeah, that's a good ad. Sorry. Working under that hypothesis though, it would suggest that building both of the metrics is important either way. So this could just be a way of, as long as we're working under that hypothesis. And if it turns out that the systems do indeed correlate with one another, that could be a good basis for studying whether or not they actually are that case. So this might be a base to answering that question. Yeah. I also think like most things that people figure out um, because it's now kind of well known, there, it, the, the power of that relationship is likely stronger now than it was in 2015 when we did the study. Yeah. I'll, I'll into the, the premise and you exploring that through science, but uh, for the sake of <laughs> the, these metrics, like, um, yeah. When, I just want to be clear when we say like combining metrics, like the development and usage me metric above it has a very different connotation or intended to have a different connotation than we're working on below with sort of the reputation based one, whether it's individual or project. So um, I think I'm hearing a consensus that we're saying like, make it clear that popularity as a single 
kind of reputation based concept includes individuals and projects and the relationship between either either looking at the followers of the people contributing or the followers of the project directly um, both will end up having a, a gravity to them kevin is that what you were proposing yeah. yes although although alternately I'm, I'm certainly not opposed to having two separate metrics totally uh, just whichever is whichever is easiest for us to do and most understandable i think uh the context and context and perspective is is really important when we're when we're working through these metrics and we really don't want to confuse people about are we talking about are we talking about people now or are we talking about projects yeah i would kind of agree i would say run them separately and when it's time to test them um test them with the understanding that uh they might correlate with one another but just kind of keep them separate during the course of the build from a metrics perspective that makes sense because you can always do a ratio you can always do a correlation you can always do further analysis definitely and those agree. those are tighter discrete metrics for sure okay just trying to think in the then project popularity and user popularity I wonder if it might be best to get away from the notion of popularity as a whole um, and call it something like momentum or something along those lines. Or influence or... Um... I also worry about influence because of um, a lot of the other metrics that that would kind of bring to bear, like in public relations uh, metrics. I'm, I'm gonna strongly advocate for stick into popularity, not because I love the the term but because it's what people talk about like which project is popular uh is probably the number one conversation i have uh on in, in corporate environments uh with we, people wh whether that's the best definition of, of it or not like i think we're trying to we, unpack what people mean by that we could remove valence and call it stars and watchers from a project perspective because that's just kind of the discrete named thing that people do. But Is I'm okay with at least staying with popularity. Um, maybe. I'm, I'm still endorsing Kevin's perspective, like sticking it to the popularity and having the filters like stars, issues, folks, or like uh, languages or users in terms of that. So, Popularity as a general concept that what is popular and how we can assess that in terms of like stars, filters and other different measures. Great. I would, so that I, would I, be I think, in that, I think, uh, I think popularity is it's the term that people use. So I think we should, if we can, we should just use it. All right. I'm not against that. Great. So that would be another h3 uh if we wanted to add filters yes okay so just a question sorry i'm coming in listening while also making those social listening metrics so there in this document there are two project popularity metrics are they named differently one was like development and usage and one was reputation yeah i i'm tempted to like this is this is getting a little unruly of a document here um but if you scroll all the way down to what what's just said popularity reputation um you get to what we're focused on today okay and then the the i, I the only reason yeah. i was asking was in the the spreadsheet like if we yeah. wanted to split this into two different documents so that we can remove the unruliness and we just have one google doc for what you were highlighting the metric two the popularity reputation and then i can just update that in the metric spreadsheet and then if we had a second google doc for number one above 
which is currently also project popularity, but development and usage. See what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, mm -hmm. I was trying to do exactly what you were talking about is clean it up just a tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I keep, we've come back to, um, I think when we were, yeah, let's just do that for sure. Let's, let's break them out into two. And if we end up axing one or combining them, at least it's cleaner in the process. I'll right do now that. it's a, it's a wonderful mess. Okay. I'll do that. I'll just keep this current Google doc as the reputation one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pull out the top part, basically metric number one and make a new doc. And then we can track that in the spreadsheet too. Great. Okay. And maybe I'm going to take this meta section out and add it to our normal call notes. I think yeah, like that's, that's, that's where we, I, we kind of got away from that. I don't know if we need all that context in here anymore. Cool. Okay. Cool. Thanks all. That makes sense. Where did I go? I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. Cause I, I, I think that, um, this metric could actually apply to a lot more outside of an open source context. Yeah. Like um, what starts to ring bells for me in my head is um, PR metrics. Um, so would it be possible for you to generalize outside of a project or a specific open source communities um, works into things that are happening inside of a company? Um, so could you apply this to like a series of teams in a singular organization. I think that'd be really cool. And by PR, you're saying like uh, public relations, not to be confused. Yes. Sorry. Okay. My fault. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to make sure. Acronyms, we have to be careful with those. And that is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have used acronyms in, in all industries equally. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for bearing with us while we tidy. Yeah, and for the ultimate context, uh, project popularity was the name of the original metric that was in the repo when I took over maintaining value group and it was empty. So uh, we've been kind of on this path to filling it in with something or discovering so much about like, well, what is valid to fill in here? Like what angles are appropriate? So um, this is this is great. We're getting closer. Really fun. Okay, I did have one question about what made it in here. Matt G, I saw you added reviews for PR visualization from Cauldron. Um, I didn't, I didn't know if that was um, intended for this metric or if there was something, like some context I was missing. Let's see, could you highlight where you are? Uh, yeah. Oh, I see it. Okay. okay. Yep, I got it. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Is totally that a fair, fair answer? <laughs> That's incredibly fair. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess just to say it out loud then, I, I don't know if closed reviewed and created reviews are a sign of popularity, I guess maybe. To... Re re you can remove, I mean, I don't, I'm not. Okay, cool. Can we, I think we're, yeah, we were gonna talk about forks, uh, maybe just to see the kind of that monotonic growth of people showing interest uh, was the intention. Um, not quite the same. Cool. Yep. Thanks. I'm fair. Yep. Cool. All right. And um, I'll say it here, like last call, if you want either Augur or Cauldron or other Batergia tool visualizations in this, um, please get it in before the next meeting. Um, I'm going to copy this into a pull request before then is my, my commitment. Um, so if, if you want something other than dev stats in there, which I feel would be appropriate considering our project, um, please add it in. All right, I will uh, definitely do that. Cool. Um, I'm gonna add that to my to-do list. 
I don't see the is which I don't see the I hadn't clicked the metric which is it which metric is it what what link is it in one of these notes Pro, oh project popularity duh yeah if you stick with that one um, let's say got do it November twenty first our next meeting time is November twenty first. Oh my goodness. How is uh, it this month the week already? Before Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely this, wild. this is a, this isn't a, just a value issue. And so it may be out of the scope for this meeting. Uh, but we probably should have some discussion about how we provide attribution for the images that we use in here. And this is, this is an issue across all the working groups. Uh, Mm. Uh, a lot of our metric pages do not have attribution for images. The alt tag should the alt tag should be used for that, and that will also contribute to SEO. When you say attribution, I mean they always say if it's a Grimoire Lab or Augur or DevStats. Are you looking for something other than that? I don't. I don't think we do that in the metric. Oh, we pages. don't. I think most most of the time it's just an image, kind of pasted in. Oh, without the context of what tool was used. Yeah, I see. Take a um, take a look because I remember I I remember Grimoire Lab and Augur often uh, yeah. like always distinguishing which which visits ours. I recall like whatever metrics so far have been added. Augur and Grimoire Lab, uh, Lab is always separately highlighted. Uh, is there a is there a templated way of? So it's like on the visualization section, we have a uh, Grimoire Lab, uh, then visualization or graph, and then Augur visualization. And yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I think think so far. I think we've always made that clear. Yes. OK. Um, maybe we just have a, about five minutes left. I wanted to bring back up, uh, Vinod, you proposed a yeah. metric called Okay. <laughs> I haven't it's worked cool. on it. I was so like. It's um, not, not designed to busy. shame, but just to remind yeah. that this is yes, really uh, cool it's, work. it's a good reminder. I'll, I'll start working on it. And then hopefully in the next meeting, I'll add something to it. Yeah. For, for others, it's uh, issue 108 in, in the repo. Vinod wrote up this really interesting research related to business readiness ratings for open source um, and was going to reach back out uh, to the original author to see yeah. if there's any updated theories since it was published a, a, quite a few years ago. And open source has you know, kind of blown up since. Cool. Um, great, well, I think it says add to release notes is the, the last kind of open issue to check. Kevin, anything we should be doing to help that along? Uh, not at this time. Just uh, just keep keep moving forward and uh, tag me if you need me to 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 do anything regarding the release. Uh, okay. Thank just you. for the uh, just for the record, because it was because it was stated that uh, that we do use attribution. Uh, all of the metrics that I pulled up on the website do not have attribution. So I'm sure there are some that do. Uh, but. Uh, it is an issue, contrary to the uh, the statement that uh, was made that it's not. So, cool. Thanks for confirming. So yeah, um, so sounds like we should maybe get a, a tiny update to the template to explicitly request attribution. And that sounds like some technical debt in our project that I am. Oh, look, so it looks like we ran out of time to talk about that more today. No. Ha, 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 ha. We're doing it anyway. <laughs> as soon as technical debt comes up, you're like, got to go. Uh, no, that, that's a good call. Thanks, Kevin. I think, you know, there there's plenty of other meaty things to get into, but um, anything immediately on people's minds? Mm, those metrics are done. So thank you. All, they're all templated out, and Vanya, I updated the sharing so you can access those now. Oh, cool. 
It's um, also in the spreadsheet, so that's also updated. Awesome. Uh, I think can you link? Oh. oh, sorry. I was just going to ask. Can you link to the spreadsheet real quick? I don't have it bookmarked for some reason, and I know that's important. There Thanks you go. Up. What were you saying, Benia? Um, I think that's all that's all that's left for the social listening metric because we named it during the meeting. It looks like. Um, thank you for that, Georg. Um, I think the only thing that's really left is to set up a meeting to actually like go through the first metric setup. So um, just email me with what those times are. I'm normally most available around 7 p.m. Mountain. Hello. 7 p.m. Mountain. Sounds good. Okie doke. Well, I hope everyone is holding up okay. Um, 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, 10 minutes? Yeah, that's when Nevada posts. Oh, barfable moment. Oh. <laughs> But uh, that's if that that's the end if it posts well and it will because the missing votes are from Las Vegas. <laughs> I've never met more libertarians than when I hung out in Las Vegas. So I, I <laughs> the internet um, called food workers union in Las Vegas basically rules ooh. the town and you got nothing to worry about. Nevada's gonna be fine. Don't say that. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. That. I just can't, I guess I changed it, but yeah, I think we're fine. <laughs> I don't know Matt's voice could get that high. <laughs> <laughs> it can. Oh my oh, God. <laughs> shut up. Matt's like, shut up, Sean. Shut up. Uh, yeah, they, they were pretty anti uh, shutting things down for COVID. So, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm getting off this call. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We officially broke, we broke the, 